for us, the idea of having an opportunity to invest in a very stable uh, and growing country uh, with a visionary uh, head of state, having a partner like Adnoc, where they really are interested in growth, they're interested in change, they're interested in their employees, they're interested in the environment, and all the things that are important to us is critical for making the right investment. Most people think that everything is micro, it's just pick the right investment and make it. There's much more to it than that. And I look at this as, I'm hoping, the first of a long string of future investments that we can make in the region. And when you take a step back and look at the opportunities, where else do you see opportunities in the region? Because as you say, this is an investment that's the first of its kind. Could we see something like this in Egypt or Saudi Arabia? You can see this anywhere. Uh, the one thing that is missing is capital for, for infrastructure. The idea that over the uh, next 10, 20 years, trillions of dollars are needed for infrastructure. Just take Asia alone, and the Asia Development Bank thinks that it could be $26 trillion needed for infrastructure uh, in, the, uh, in the region out there, and then multiply that, Middle East, United States, Europe, everyone needs capital for infrastructure. So I think you're gonna see more and more public-private partnerships. And we're talking about the U.S. as well. Absolutely, the U.S. Uh, in particular. I don't know when the last time you were in New York. Drive along and you hit a pothole. Uh, go across uh, uh, some of the bridges. Uh, you name it, infrastructure for uh, media. Uh, you're in the media business, okay? Uh, high speed, 5G, uh, et cetera, that's infrastructure. Most people don't think of it that way, but everything is. Power transmission, power generation, uh, uh, solar, wind, uh, as renewable energies, which are coming, no question about it, and will become bigger. Would you do a deal like this one in the U.S.? Uh, would we? Absolutely. In fact, we have done deals like this. Uh, we've had uh, investments with oil companies in the U.S. where we've bought uh, in and, and basically leased back to the uh, operator as we're doing here. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.